Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the one third scale Kami statue from Street Fighter from Premium Collectible Studio, uh, previously known as Pop Culture Shock uh, for statue collectors that have been around for a while. I think they changed their name maybe a year or so ago uh, due to some management changes and so on, but um, uh, luckily their quality in their Street Fighter statues has pretty much stayed uh, the high standard that uh, it has always been. Um, you can see the uh, the two other ones that I've got, uh, Ryu and Chun-Li in the background there with uh, that quarter scale one. Apologies for the mess. Um, I still haven't reorganized this room the way I want it. Um, and because this can't fit in the light box, I've had to rely on some natural light through the, uh, the window behind me uh, to get uh, some decent photos and um, uh, shots of the statue itself. Uh, but luckily, um, I got this from uh, the local distributor, um, pop culture here in Australia um, and uh, it came in pretty much perfect condition. I've only got a few minor quibbles on the statue itself uh, but we'll get to that shortly. The base here um, is pretty nice. It's the classic um, Street Fighter 2 stage I think it is uh, where she's standing on the bridge. I love the sort of um, some of the moss that's growing on the side here. That paint application is pretty good um, and the base itself is, is nice and it uh, goes well with the the Chun-Li sort of um, dragon bridge sort of style as well. Boots there look pretty good. Paint app overall is nice. There's no uh, mixed media in any of the boots or anything like that. The only mixed media is in the outfit itself, which uh, we'll get to shortly. Love the uh, skin paint application. The, there was a running change in production that they announced, uh, indicating that they would have more realistic um, skin um, paint application. I'm not sure if they actually changed the sculpt. Most of the changes seem to be in the uh, head sculpt paint application. I was actually a bit worried that it was going to be uh, too realistic um, with their the sort of freckling in the skin tone but um, overall um, it's probably a mix between the original sort of um, flat look uh, with a bit more realism thrown in um, and I think it complements the Chun-Li pretty well so um, I can't complain too much about that at all. Uh, the sort of camouflage paint application on the legs is uh, all nicely done and sharp. Uh, so there's no uh, bleed or anything like that that I can see. Um, on the skin itself, there are a few blemishes, I think, um, that you really need to get up close to, to really see. Um, some of the, I think, uh, I don't know if it's just the, the way it smears in the um, packaging and so on. Um, it does have a few sort of light scratch marks um, but I can see those uh, similarly on the Ryu and Chun-Li statue so I'm not going to get uh, too hung up about it. Um, the biggest concern for me of course was the suit and whether or not um, the suit was going to have any sort of um, damage or stitching issues. Uh, luckily for mine the stitching particularly around the edge that you see here and the edge of the um, crotch area and so on is uh, pretty much perfect. I can't complain too much about the stitching. I have seen some photos um, and other videos where the stitching is not as clean. Um, so that was a, a bit, bit of a disappointment for, for those collectors. Uh, but hopefully um, PCS and Sideshow and so on can, can help them out. Uh, the material itself um, is pretty much like a, a flexible type material um, that you would probably get in a, in a, in a normal outfit as well. Um, no major issues. Uh, the only thing that I had to sort of futz around was of course um, out of the box this whole uh, g-string area was a bit uh, weird and so um, I had to sort of get in there and uh, use one of my little uh, plastic tools from um, Hot Toys to get it to sit right. Um, it's probably the closest I've expected a, a g-string since uh, you know 15 20 years ago when I started dating my wife so it was a little bit awkward <laughs> but uh, overall uh, it's probably as best as I'm gonna be able to get it um, and I do think the the underlying sculpt and the outfit just makes it uh, really stand out um, there's no major tears or anything or, or um, issues in the outfit I've probably got one little tiny um, I can't even see if you can pick it out just on this side here I've got a little tiny um, maybe half a centimeter or so um, two three mil of a, a run 
um, but uh, you can barely sort of make it out so I'm, I'm not going to get too hung up about that. Um, overall um, I was a bit worried about how the um, neck part here was going to, to fit in. I've seen uh, collectors where they've just placed the head on top and it doesn't sit right because the, the top of the uh, outfit just sits underneath. I think you're meant to pull that out and it's finished fairly nicely at the top so you just pretty much have to um, futz around with it so it doesn't uh, buckle or sort of um, bundle up too much at the top. Uh, so just you know, wear those gloves that the, they give you and uh, just gently move the, the outfit down to smooth out all the wrinkles and so on. So in the end, it does look pretty nice. The detachable pieces uh, are the arms. So it comes with this arm, which is uh, on the right side and the waist holding arm. They fit in pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, the hair pieces, I think uh, you just need to be careful that the one with the... Uh, more distinct curve is on the left and the one with the gentler curve is on the right uh, it gives you that nice sort of twirling hair look um, the scariest part is probably inserting these two uh, hair pieces up the front here um, I had to um, dip them in pretty much boiling water uh, for five seconds or so to soften it up and then it made inserting in the holes in the forehead much easier um, and once they're in, uh, they look pretty damn good. Uh, I love the head sculpt. Uh, no issues on mine. Uh, there were a few issues on my Chun-Li that I had a replacement for. Uh, but this one is pretty much perfect. Love the glassiness in the eyes, the lips. Um, everything looks really nice. And it blends in well with the rest of the body as well. So uh, can't complain too much about that. Uh, just to note that this little red piece there, the insignia, is uh, on a magnet and it just uh, attaches to the top there. So I think I just uh, lined it up based on what I could see from the original Street Fighter game. Um, and it sits there very nice and tight. Um, what else? The sculpting and paint application on the gauntlets is nice. It's got a nice sort of glossy uh, red paint application with that black wash to bring out the sculpt. Uh, so they've done that really nice. I love the, um, the sort of gentle uh, black wash or, or just shading that they've got around the um, the musculature to bring that out. Um, so overall, I think it's a beautiful companion piece to uh, Chun-Li. I guess that's the, uh, the money shot. Um, so, I mean, I'll be having mine in a uh, glass uh, acrylic case along with the others. Um, so once I get that all set up, um, you know, people will be able to walk around it and see it from all angles as a uh, it was intended to, to be appreciated. Um, and uh, if you're a Street Fighter fan, uh, collecting this one third scale, um, this is definitely right up there with the, the best of them. Uh, I have skipped out on um, the Sagat and the M Bison. Um, I'll probably stick to the um, uh, the heroes, I guess, from the, from the movies, uh, the game actually. So hopefully they do Ken next. Um, I'm sorely missing a Ken um, in this scale and even in quarter scale. Um, I was hoping they were gonna do a mixed media Ken to, to go with the, the Ryu there, uh, but they ended up doing their Ultra line, I think, uh, which uh, I passed on. But um, if they do a one third scale Ken, um, it's definitely uh, a must have for, for me. But um, that's pretty much all my thoughts. Um, it's another beautiful statue. Um, I think I forgot to show the collector card. You get the uh, card, the authenticity. I got number 263 of 350. Um, and uh, I think the other two variants, uh, there's the um, the Alpha outfit and I think uh, the uh, DiCapre style, uh, which is the alternative character. Um, and both of those look pretty fantastic as well. So um, that's pretty much it for my thoughts on this one Thursday Cami. Um, hopefully you can give the video a like and subscribe and stay tuned for all my upcoming reviews uh, coming soon over the next uh, month or so. Uh, but until then, thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.